Uh, my name is Jerry Pacheco. Uh, I'm a tattoo artist here in Houston, Texas. How long have you been a tattoo artist? Uh, let's see. Uh, I've been doing it now for seven years. Uh, going strong. Coming up. Uh, I did a year apprenticeship first, so I mean, that was that. And then after that, started tattooing. Do you draw? Oh yeah, man. Uh, I've been drawing since I could remember, dude. Uh, you know, making little things for the family, doing that stuff. Cards, uh, make comic books. My parents would usually give me all these uh, types of, you know, paper, all the pencils I could. So, I mean, I've been doing it since I could even remember. So what kind of stuff did you say you started drawing in the beginning? Was it uh, like cartoon characters? Yeah, man, pretty much, dude. You know, things that popped in my head. Uh, like, I remember the first thing I really drawing was like Spawn. Spawn was a big influence. Todd McFarlane, other artists, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, was really big on comic books and, you know, album art, vinyl. My dad was real big into getting vinyl. And just looking at uh, all the oils, paintings, and everything that was illustrated on that, uh, on those were so eye catching. I just wanted to start doing stuff like that. Well, at least you have something cool, cool because I know when I started, I used to always draw Garfield and Oval. That's how I got started drawing. Uh, do you know, I guess, are there any tattoo artists who only know how to color in tattoos? Um, not good ones. <laughs> I mean, you know, and then if so, is there like a name that those type of uh, tattoo artists have, like coloring book tattoo artists? Uh, I mean, nowadays, dude, I guess. Like, as far as an industry goes, man, there are some people out there that, you know, uh, using a limited amount of resources as far as in not learning how to draw, or, or learning how to draw before, you know, everything starts as far as in tattooing. Uh, uh, my mentor was pretty much, you could do it, you could do it. If you can't, there's a door, so. How many tattoos do you have? Not enough. Not enough. Uh, one big giant one, I guess. I haven't really sat down and counted how many I have, but uh, I still need to have a lot more room to go. And uh, how old were you when you got your first one? Which one was it? And what was the feeling when you first got it? Uh, I was 18, you know. Got, got my first legit tattoo as far as, I got the, this rose right here by a gentleman named, uh, his name was uh, Ryan Scroggins. Uh, he's actually in the Ryan Scroggins in Trishtown, Texas. It was over here off of 1960. It was an amazing tattoo. That was years ago. So what or who got you into tattooing? Um, really music. Uh, we were in a band. Uh, I started in a band called Molotov Compromise. Uh, I started getting tattooed more and more. And then I hung out with this dude like that everybody was getting tattooed by this one guy and I was like who is this guy I need to I need to meet this guy and get so his name is Brandon Madrid started hanging out with him uh, started bumping elbows with a lot of other tattoo artists uh, you know what I mean like I was drawing and stuff like that so I was kind of constantly sneaking my drawings in and seeing if they could critique me as far as and like what I need to do and honestly man I moved away for a little while came back and then Hit the ground running, dude. Uh, just linked back up with Brandon and got into a shop and started sweeping. So you say you were in Molotov Compromise? Are you still with them now? Molotov Compromise. Compromise. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're still going. We're still doing it. Uh, we were kind of growing all grown old, you know. So. I think I bought I bought two of your songs and I used your music for one of the Turkey Jam videos. Oh video. wow. Wow, yeah. dang. I think that was not this year, but last year. Okay, because I saw the video from this yeah. year. It was pretty nice. Right. Um, but yeah, man, uh, we've been there going at it for like 10 years now. So um, that is a journey in its own, man. So it, that, that, that really kind of got me into like, I guess, open the door as you speak for, you know, all the people that I've met and all the things that I've kind of introduced into my life as far as an art, skateboarding, uh, you know, um, tattooing, what, whatever, uh, just kind of really derived from music. So back to tattoo, so how does one even begin, and what did you even practice on? Uh, how did I begin? Um, like I said, dude, I was just a shop rat. Uh, 
just living my days. I was in, like, I was hanging out with Molotov. I was going to Art Institute Houston for a little while at the time. And then um, it was real close to the where the, all the tattoo shops were predominantly downtown. So um, I guess they were tired of me standing around, just not doing anything, wasting space. So uh, started uh, sweeping, started doing all the necessary steps, you know, cleaning everybody's stuff, washing down tubes, breaking down everybody's equipment, learning how to do needles, and then all of a sudden here I am tattooing seven years later. How did you feel when you did your first tattoo? Uh, and then also, do you remember what it was? Haha, <laughs> uh, I tattooed the piercer at the time, Mickey. Uh, and no, I didn't know that I was gonna tattoo. Like, at the time, I was breaking down everybody and setting everybody up. So, once I went to go set my mentor up, he was like, You can't tattoo with latex gloves on. I was like, What? And uh, I couldn't even put the gloves on. I was, my hands were so sweaty, dude. Um, and it was like a little I heart you. That, that's all it was. It was an I and then a heart and then a you. And that was it. Just to kind of like wing it, see if I could, you know, control my, as far as in lines and getting everything uh, down. Um, but yeah, that was, that was my first tattoo. Were you happy with it? I mean, yeah, I mean, we were just, hanging out, you know what I mean? Just doing a normal daily thing. And uh, yeah, I still talk I still talk to them still to this day too, you know what I mean? We, we, we all got those tattoos, you know what I mean? So. Is there a particular style of tattoo that you prefer to do? Um, well, of course I like traditional, uh, you know, uh, Americana. I like Japanese, American Japanese. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I try to stay really diverse, you know, as far as in being able to handle anything that walks in the door. Uh, and of course, if I can't do it, you know, I try to locate the nearest guy that, you know, could do the job. But as far as in uh, that, you know what I mean, I never try to push away anybody, I never try to, uh, you know what I mean, it's, it's always new clients, new, new customers. Uh, new stories to tell, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm all about it, dude. So whatever I, I, I could do and, and go in heartfold with it, I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and take the challenge. What was the most uncomfortable tattoo you've had to do? Uh, the most uncomfortable tattoo? I don't know. What, uh, I guess uncomfortable and like, there's more ways to be uncomfortable, you know what I mean? Uh, tattooing, is always uncomfortable, regardless if you're doing something that you're not, you know what I mean? Because you're always in some awkward position that you're doing, you know what I mean? You always have to, somebody's feet might stink, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. There's always that uncomfortable moment as far as in uh, being uncomfortable with somebody else. I always try to take everybody with, you know what I mean? Open arms and make it, make the best out of everything, dude, because it's a story, you know what I mean? And it's an experience, dude, so. I try to make everything 100%. Cool. And what was the best tattoo you feel like you've done in your career? Um, every tattoo, I always try to do better than the next one. You know what I mean? Of course, you know, you're always trying to do better. But I feel like uh, I did a Boba Fett tattoo. It was pretty nice. Uh, it was uh, in his, his little I'll get up. Uh, did that not too long ago. Yeah, but fun. yeah, 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 dude. I like, I like. You know, every tattoo, man, because it each has its own story and it, everybody has its own, you know, grasp on what exactly they think that it's like the greatest tattoo, you know what I mean? Like, it could be like something very minimal, you know what I mean? But they got, that means something more important to any, anything in somebody's life, you know what I mean? So I try to do it. Every tattoo is a pretty cool tattoo. Right, cool. And uh, have you tattooed yourself? Of course. Of course, man. Uh, I firmly believe if you, you know, you wouldn't be a tattoo artist if you at least not, like, you know, tattoo yourself. Okay. Like, you gotta know your craft, you gotta know how involved your machine is. If you tune it, you know what I mean? You gotta make sure that it's gonna work instead of just plowing down on somebody that's some unwilling, you know what I mean? Yeah. Bystander. So I guess, uh, so where do you normally tattoo yourself? Like, I've done my, legs? my legs, my legs. It's easier, it's right here, it's in front of you. You didn't try to do your back? <laughs> Just look in the mirror, you know what I mean? <laughs> and do you have a favorite tattoo artist? Uh, tattoo artist? Um, 
Mm, no, not really. Uh, I tried to get tattooed by all walks of life, man, because you always learn too, you know? Uh, something I learned, you know, very young age, dude, is just always hang out with somebody that's better than you, you know? So I always try to, whether that be with, you know, tattooing or skating, you know, ripping it up, music, somebody who's more inclined, you know what I mean? You always try to learn and always try to get uh, tattooed by different people because they are different in every specialty, you know what I mean? So, uh, always try to pick up things. Sponge, man, learning. Besides tattoos, what else do you like to do? Uh, skate, I like to skate. Uh, try to draw as much as I can, paint, man, it's fun. Um, what else do you Play music, what, crochet, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. What do you play? Uh, I sing, I sing. You sing, okay. Nice. Play the air guitar. Hey, that's what we all do. Oh yeah, dude, I got the jumps down and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lip sync. Hey man, but uh, thank you for giving us the opportunity no to interview you. Uh, do you have any last words? Uh, fuck the world.